It's Saturday the 2nd of May and this is your 5 minute Chelsea news and transfer news update and that's my website chelseadaft.org. Let's get into this. Frank Lampard is quoted in the media heavily having been talking to BT Sport on the TV this morning. But there's an interesting article here from Adrian Kajumba for the Daily Mail. Frank Lampard has dropped his record signing, punted an old pal and fined players £20,000 if they're late for training. He's demanding the same standards he set as a player in his drive to bring the glory days back to Chelsea. And rather than go into the actual article itself, I just want to ask you guys the question. Post your comments in the comments section below. How do you think Frank Lampard has done so far as Chelsea manager? More from Frank, and we are all waiting for the, the coronavirus to, to hopefully begin to calm down and football to come back. But Frank Lampard was asked about the situation with the Premier League coming back, and he said this, I think it's important for football to take its place, and insist it would not sit well with him if Premier League stars get coronavirus testing kits before frontline NHS key workers. And I think that's brilliant from Frank. Lampard said this, when we talk about the testing, that we're going to be doing we're going to have 70 or 80 staff minimum if we're going to restart training and if we're going to test regularly that's fine but when we look around the world i don't know testing numbers for the nhs and care workers and people that do these incredible jobs over the last two months or so i don't think it would sit well with me or anyone if we didn't make sure people were being tested who are in that front line and that's important vitally important before any talk of football also featured in his interview this morning, he delivers an update on N'Golo Conte and Ruben Loftus-Cheek. With the football being postponed, it gives these players that have had long injuries or ongoing injury problems time to recover and to rest. And Frank spoke about this and said, Yes, we've had quite a few of those going into when we finished playing recently. I think N'Golo Conte is a great example. Obviously, he's played four or five incredible seasons in succession. He's been used quite rightly by his managers a lot. But this season he's only had about 40% of our games and even then I felt for him. I've really felt for him. He's been a huge miss for us but looking forward whenever a restart comes. We want to get him in the best shape. Speaking of Ruben, he also said we want to get Ruben Loftus-Cheek who's missed the whole season in his best shape. So we've had slightly different plans for them but they've been scuppered in what we've had to do recently because health comes first. Tammy Abraham sent a Hakim Ziyech warning ahead of Chelsea arrival and he's been warmed by one of Zayas's former teammates, Alfred Finn Bogerson. I already knew he was, he was good, but what he's shown in recent years is not normal. If you don't click with Zayas, you're not a good striker. All you have to do is move. He gives the balls exactly the way you want them to be. Without a doubt, the Premier League will be a big test for him. Players are better and more aggressive. But see what he's already shown at Ajax with his qualities in the Champions League. He is something special and will be a big signing for Chelsea. The pressure will be great, but he can deliver. He is no longer a young boy either. He knows how it works. Another question regarding a current Chelsea member, player this time, not the manager, and it's William. And the question is, should he stay or should he go? With Chelsea having tabled a two-year deal and William wants a three-year deal, he's wanted by Arsenal and Tottenham. And they're asking the question, should he stay or should he go? So first question in this video was, what rate Frank Lampard's season so far? The second question for you guys is, should he stay or should he go? One thing for certain, former Arsenal player, now TV pundit Martin Keown, has doubted the fact that William is linked with Arsenal. And he said he wants Real Madrid or Barcelona, not Arsenal. Tottenham's still in the running, but I wonder if one of those two big clubs in Spain will come in for him. A couple of interesting stories now and Liverpool deal to sign Timo Werner off as Man United and Chelsea plot moves and they believe that Liverpool are going to hold back their transfer outlay in the summer with the coronavirus pandemic and the financial markets being hit globally and they believe that they're only going to spend in certain positions where they need to strengthen. Werner's got a £52 million release for clause in his contract. It was believed that Liverpool would make the move and sign him but Looks as though that's now all changed. I wonder, will Chelsea make a move instead? <clears throat> Lille receive a stunning 75 million transfer offer for unnamed club for Victor Osimen. He scored against us in the Champions League and he is highly rated. The Nigerian forward has scored 13 goals this season. He's only 21 and someone out there has tabled a 75 million pound bid to sign him. That is a lot of money. Is it Chelsea who are rumoured to be keeping tabs on him? I'm not so sure. 
I have to show you this. It made me laugh. Do you remember the Battle of the Bridge, Chelsea v Tottenham, where we got a 2-2 draw and scuppered their title hopes, giving Leicester the Premier League title in the Battle of the Bridge? Well, it's the anniversary, and Cesc Fabregas has trolled the Tottenham fans, which I think is absolutely brilliant. His tweet. Today, four years ago, we won the Premier League. And then he put a comment directly underneath it. For Leicester City. Brilliant. That's it from me, Saturday the 2nd of May. This has been the 5 Minute Chelsea News and Chelsea Transfer News. Smash the like button for me, then subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it already, but hit the bell for notifications so you don't miss any of my videos that come out. Also, check the two videos listed here for more content from my channel and post your comments in the comment section below. Have a good Saturday. See you tomorrow.